Hello, this is going to be a quick demonstration of my Sega Light Phaser to Menacer adapter circuit, which is over here. Uh, it's not implemented uh, correctly, so things don't work entirely as they should yet, um, but it kind of works um, enough to, to demonstrate here. So if I start the game here, uh, you'll see when I get in here. Sorry, I hope you can see the screen. I, because the um, gun relies on the screen being very bright, uh, it will look a little washed out uh, on the recording there. Unfortunately, I did try to record uh, with the TV brightness turned right down, so it shows up better on camera, but then uh, the light gun doesn't work unless you're pretty much touching the screen, because uh, this is one of those games that live tracks uh, where you're aiming rather than flashing uh, a white screen whenever you pull the trigger. Anyway, as you can see here, it is detected that I have a menacer plugged in, um, which is clearly not true. I have this light phaser, but the detection uh, circuit here, or the adapt... Um, this circuit here, which it should be pretending to be a menacer, doesn't entirely work quite correctly. You can see if I pull the trigger, the use menacer option becomes disabled, and that also applies if I press any of these buttons here. But uh, let's forget that for now. If I just start the game, you get this little bit here. You see this is due to, due to the way the um, device ID should be zero, and all these buttons here are uh, active high, so whenever I pull the button, the, that ID thing gets read, uh, those ID bits, which should be zeros, get read as one. Um, I haven't quite figured out how it's supposed to be uh, reading the device ID, but uh, anyway, you can see here, um, it's tracking the gun. Hopefully you can see that, if I bring that on here, and it's reasonably accurate. Uh, it's moving that cursor around on screen, I can shoot these terminators. And if I, uh, on my left hand, if I wait for something to come through, if I press the button there, get the special function. I can also pause the game with that button. But yeah, I mean, as a sort of rough proof of concept, uh, it seems to be working pretty well. I really don't know how to play this game. There's a loose cartridge from the instruction manual, so I'm just pretty much guessing what to do here. Um, blowing up terminators, I think that's what you're supposed to do, right? Uh, hopefully you can see if I remember to actually put my hand in, in on screen, rather, sorry. Oh, and blow up. Ah, uh, oops. There we go, what do I get there? I get lots of points. Oh, did I just kill my human good guy? But yeah, anyway, I just thought, uh, little quick demonstration video, not really planned, but there. So light phaser on the Mega Drive, and it seems to be sort of working. This is the only game I've got to test it with. Um, admittedly, there are only R3 Mega Drive games that this gun works with, 